Okay, so um, welcome to this next uh, little tip from Marvelous Designer. Um, what we're going to do is have a look at friction and how we can use it to, you know, keep garments in place um, while we're building them. So first of all, what I'm going to do is create uh, just a little uh, block here, and I'm going to rotate it round and arrange it over the shoulder. Now we have the default material here and we're going to see how that behaves. So when I press space you'll see it drops down and it hits the shoulder and starts to slip a little. Um, I haven't really arranged this very well so let's just reset that. So Control and Z a couple of times. There we go. Uh, I want the bottom oops, to be a little longer I want it to be a little wider. There we go. So now you can see it's just hitting the, the avatar and slipping entirely off. Now this is just a demonstration. This is a bit extreme. Um, but if we go to our fabric and under the physical property, you'll see preset. And if you open that up, near the bottom of preset is friction. So it's set to three. If I update this to say 60, it's going to, you know, really up the friction. And now if I press space, you'll see it's not slipping off and going all over the place. It's sticking exactly where you put it. Um, and when you're building a garment, that can be really helpful um, to, you know, get things in the right place quickly. So let's just uh, demonstrate that again if I now turn this back to say 3 which is the default and reset this to 3D and press space again you'll see it flies off and sticks to around which is of no good to man or beast. Right let's stop the sim and just do a small practical demonstration of this. Uh, I keep pressing the delete key and nothing's happening. What's going on? There we go. Delete. Okay, so I'm going to create a quick kind of uh, simple tube top uh, by creating a piece uh, for the front. I might need to make that a little bit bigger and we'll right click and copy and mirror paste that to the back. So let's press shift and F. I'm going to put the back bit around the back and then perhaps just move that down a little bit and then grab the front piece, move it out the way and arrange it around the front. Whoops. And let's just move that up a bit. Let's rotate it and move it up. There we go. Right, these need to be a bit wider, but before that shift F to turn off the um, arrangement points. Let's make that a bit wider and let's make that a little wider. Okay. Right, so now if I sew these up, I can press space and it's just going to fall off. Her. Uh, they might be too big these, but you know, it shouldn't. Well, I, I don't want it to make a difference. Uh, let's just rotate that around. If I now grab these, this fabric property and I'll increase that to 60 and press space, you'll see it's going to stick to the body and pretty much not go anywhere. Now you can see that my pattern is massively wrong, uh, which I kind of expected. Um, but now I know it's in the right place. I can rearrange my pattern by making this, the back smaller and I can start to pull this around and get it to where I want it. Now. You might want to create a really baggy kind of uh, thing here. And yeah, this is perfect for that because essentially we're just increasing the friction. So where it is coming into contact with the avatar, it's sticking and it's not going anywhere, you know, under any circumstances. Well, unless you really pull it around uh, and you get a nice baggy back so that, you know, It'd be a nice design choice, perhaps, you know. Uh, but I'm just going to make the front a bit smaller. And there we go. And now it's tight. And now it's sticking to the body. And it's exactly where we want it. 
So now that I have got the pattern um, more or less right, I can go back to my fabric and reduce this back down again and let it sim and it should still be good because the pattern's right. Pattern wasn't right in the first place, but it was never going to be right first off. And the friction just gives me enough of a, a boost to be able to do it. <coughs> now, it's not the only reason to do it. You may get it where you have a strappy top and the straps just keep falling down the arms, depending upon the pose of your avatar. Um, you can create a new material, uh, apply it to your straps and increase the friction on the straps and they should stick you know exactly where they need to be. Uh, the other thing is of course uh, if I pop this back to being 60, uh, 60 is an arbitrary number I'm just using it as a demonstration. Um, if I wanted this to be baggy at the back I could increase the back piece, let it sim and it's still going to stick to the front. I don't have any you know magic tape or um, lines or pins or anything you know doing that um, it's just doing it you know on its own so that's a bit of friction I hope that's helpful to you I hope it makes sense if it doesn't let me know in the comments and I will talk to you again another time